Now, I know I told you I was going to only do two pages per lesson, but I think because of the problems I've had with the OUP website, Oxford University Press, um, let's move on to Boomerang Statistics and some speaking. Uh, and when we go live next week, when I talk to you in small groups live, and hopefully then we'll be able to discuss some of these things as well and have a look at the statistics. OK, I'm disappearing. There we go. So Boomerang Statistics. This is Matthew O'Neill, and he says, when I graduated, I already had a huge debt. And I very quickly realized that I couldn't afford to rent, let alone buy even a shoebox sized flat. So I moved back home. OK, hotel mum and dad. Yep, a study in the UK has shown that the number of young people who still live at home has grown to 1.24 million. Of this number, 835,000 are men, 395,000 are women, and almost 100,000 think that they will never move out. It is not only a problem in the UK, it's a growing problem throughout Europe and in the USA, and many other countries, I'm sure. I think some countries, maybe they don't see it as so much of a problem. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the map. And what you've got to do is you've got to get these percentages from the lowest to the highest and put them in the right countries. OK, now it says work with a partner. Um, well, I'm going to be your partner now. I think the lowest number is going to be in probably up here in Scandinavia, Norway and Sweden. I imagine that a few other countries like the Netherlands, possibly Germany, probably Switzerland, those countries, I would imagine that uh, there's enough support and enough housing um, for people to move out from their parents. I don't know about Poland. It would be interesting because, of course, there's, I think there's a lot of empty flats in Poland um, <laughs> from, from what I've seen when I've been to Poland. Um, as we go down further south, I think a lot of Mediterranean countries, it's very typical for people to live with their parents a little bit longer. Although um, when I went to Spain, I was surprised that that doesn't seem to be the case so much. So, um, yeah, what do you think? OK, you should press pause now, put these numbers over here or just have a think about it. And I'm going to put up the answers for you, he says. Uh, if I can get this to work, it doesn't want to work. OK, let me press pause and I'll see if I can get it to work. Well, this is what I thought, um, but it's not necessarily true. And you're probably going to disagree with me and say this is not true. Most people that I know in Greece don't live with their parents. Um, I have no idea. There's also things, for example, like if you go to university, is it normal for people to live with their parents while they're studying because they study at the nearest university? Or is it like this country always used to be, it's changing, um, where people study uh, a long distance away from where they grew up because they discover a new part of the country? That was always quite normal for, um, for people of my generation. So I can't get the answers up. They're not in my teacher's book either. Um, I'll try to put them up in a future video, OK? Right, and it says, compare your ideas, um, and it's on, of course, it's on page 167. That's why it's not in my teacher's book. Um, it's not been a good day. <laughs> I feel completely unprepared for this one. Right, so page 167 is where we're going now to find out the answers. You're probably there already. It just takes me a lot longer. Extra material. Here we go. OK, I can't get them on the same page at the same time. But you can check. Greece was the highest. Italy was next. Poland was very high. Spain. OK, they're the top four. So I got Poland wrong, but I did OK with the rest. UK is quite low. And Norway and Sweden are the two lowest. And I even got those in the right order. Clever me. OK, so they are your answers and I'm not going to have time to do much more except for, you know, uh, let you laugh at me a bit longer for, for <laughs> completely forgetting where the answers are. So, yeah, swap these two over. But I've done OK there, I think. OK, um, so that's pretty much it for the boomerang generation. Let's move on uh, in the next video.